Your apostles Amen. who are danger, mm. who sent you. Who sent you. you elders who are danger. Yeah. Where did you get your authority from? That's it. Who made you bishops? That's right. Some of you say you ain't got to be ordained. You a liar. That's a lie. Titus 1 and verse 5. Says what? For this cause left I thee in Crete. The apostle tells the elder where to go, when to go, right. what to do when you get there. That's right. How long to stay there. That's right. There's not an elder or an apostle in the Bible. Believe the women preachers, remarriage and divorce, preach against speaking in tongues. Yeah. There ain't no elders like that in the Bible. No, no. But you raggedy, apostolic, Pentecostal hypocrites. <laughs> Amen. You're hypocrites. Amen. Huh? That's it. You're hypocrites. That's right. Lord, that God, I take the church and blast it into hell. Amen. Come on, son. Titus 1 and verse 5. I don't five. care how many members you have. No. I don't care who's your pastor. If your daddy is your pastor, mm -hmm. yo, he ain't right because he's your daddy. No. Listen, woman, I don't care if you're trying to support your husband mm -hmm. because he's starting the church. Amen. And his dresser is his pulpit. That's right. If he don't come along with the Bible, take the dresser and put your clothes back in it. That's it. Yeah. That's right. What did the Holy Ghost say here? For this cause left I thee in Crete. For this cause I left thee in Crete. That thou shouldest set in order the things that are wanted. Did you hear the apostle instructing this elder? That's right. Instructing this bishop. Mm -hmm. Put things in order. The things that are wanted. And do what? And ordain elders in every city. Why? As I had appointed thee. Somebody wrote me and said, if you're an apostle, why you don't go around ordaining the elders in every city? Because I'm not foolish. That's right. But the qualification you got to meet first. That's right. Finding the elders in every city is like finding a cat that has just as much legs as a spider. Amen. Most of these men that want to be elders already done divorced their wife. That's I can't right. ordain you. That's right. Living together, not married. I can't ordain you. No. You out making babies. I can't ordain you. Oh, you no. starting your own church. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 Can't ordain you. No way. Mm -mm. Never spoke in tongue. Can't ordain you. No. You henpeck. Your wife boss you. Can't ordain you. Amen. Your wife tell you, don't you work on that church no more. You don't. You stop working. That's I can't right. ordain you. That's right. Can't ordain you. No. Can't ordain a henpeck. Can't ordain a man who ain't got no spine. No way. No way. Wife tell you, I don't want you to go to church tonight. Okay. Can't ordain you. Amen. Amen. No. Not fit. Amen. Amen. Do you hear what the word of God said? And ordain elders in every city. As can't can ordain, ordain an arrogant, proud man. Arrogant, you know, you can tell a man love money because when he get a little bit money, he always say, oh, man, you know, they, they call me Mr. <laughs> You see, he, he's not used to being called Mister. So when he get a little bit of money and it went all in his veins, you can't that's ordain him. That's right. Not fit. Not fit. Can't ordain Mister Fool. Mm -mm. No. Before he had the money, he was just fool. <laughs> now he got money, Mister Fool. Can't ordain him. Amen. Can't, or, can't ordain Mister Fool. No. Qualification you got to meet first. That's right. There's an order. That's right. You can't ordain them because they've been coming to church for the past 15 years. <laughs> huh? No way. Elder this, elder that, elder the other. And then when you get up and listen at them, all they do is for an hour is give a testimony. Amen. Don't open up no scripture. Don't explain nothing. No, no. Nothing. 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 What did he say there? And ordain elders in every city as I had appointed thee. All right, what qualification they got to have? If any be blameless. Uh-oh. Mm. Right there. Right there. Can't be no gambler. No, no. Can't be playing a number. No, no. Can't be playing bingo. No. <laughs> Can't be shooting crap. No. If Poker. any. Mm -hmm. No. No. No way. Amen. Can't be a homosexual. No. Come on. Right. That's right. 
No way. Blameless. Holy Ghost says what? If any be blameless. How many wives you got to have? The husband of one wife. That don't mean you got to be married to be a preacher. That's right. That simply lets you know if you are married, the Bible mentioned how many wives you can have. One wife. You ain't got to be married to be a preacher because marriage don't make a preacher. That's right. That's right. I had some say, look, I, I, need, a, I need a wife to preach. Mm. You ain't fit to be ordained. That's right. A wife is not the gospel. Amen. Well, I can preach better when my wife is in the building. I know I got that support. When you got it like you're supposed to have it, if you never have a wife and never see her, your support come from God. That's right. That's right. Pastor Paul said, at my last answer, mm -hmm. no, no man, man stood, stood with, with me. me. All men forsook me. Mm -hmm. He said, but God stood with, God stood with me, me and strengthened me that by me, the preaching might be fully known. That's right. That's it. Your wife may get mad at you from preaching mm. and don't want to come to church. Amen. What you going to do? What you going to do? You might as well get ready to iron your clothes, That's right. hop in that car, and get on your post. Get on the post. That's right. Time Amen. is short. Amen. That's right. Glory to God. Do you, do you hear this right here? If any be blameless. These fellas go to these old raggedy preachers and get up and got a loud mouth and then they throw their hands on a stranger. Yeah. Don't even know who you are. Mm -hmm. Don't even know whether you got your right mind. <laughs> Amen. You don't ordain a man because that man said he had dreams. No. Can you imagine that? You're going to ordain a man because the man said he had dreams. He had dreams. Dreams come through the multitude of business. That's you right. don't ordain a man because he's your friend. No. You don't ordain a man because y'all grew up together. No, no. You don't ordain a man because he's your son. That's another thing that a lot of you preachers do. Mm -hmm. You see, you see you're about to die and go to hell, <laughs> so you yeah. groom your son. Yeah. And that's the type of church that most of you folk are in that you're watching. That's mm -hmm. watching me now. Mm -hmm. You go to a church, Bishop Brown was the bishop. He was the senior false prophet. That's right. And you see Junior Brown. That's right. Junior Brown, his son. <laughs> Why? He, he wants the son to keep up the Brown legacy Amen. of lies Amen. and hypocrisy. God, church is not related to nobody. Right. This is not a kinfolk church. That's right. God forbid if I die, don't go look for my sons. No. It's God to make a preacher. That's right. Don't, don't try to look for someone whose name is Jennings. That name ain't got no power. Amen. Yeah. That's right. The Bible says God put God. down one. God and up God another. raise up, up another. another. That's right. That's right. If I die, you can't look for a Jennings. Looking for a Jennings, you might as well look for hell. Amen. Ain't no power in that name, no, no. saving grace in it. No. Amen. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. If my sons don't receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost and get the teaching in them, they ain't fit to be up here. No. They're not fit to not be fit. up here. That's right. That's right. You don't put somebody up here because he's related to you. Mm -hmm. You know, some men tell young men, you got the gift. And the measurement stick they use is because they talk loud, got loud testimonies, and quote scriptures. Right. And just as unstable as a wave of water. That's right. Do you hear what the Holy Ghost says there? If any be blameless. 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 All right. The husband of one wife. When you marry one wife, you got more than one wife, get out the pulpit and sit down and don't ever get back up again. That's right. Huh? All one of wife. you preachers that are watching me right now mm -hmm. or listening over the air, if you have more than one wife, your first wife is still living. I don't care if you claim you are an apostle mm -hmm. or a bishop 
or a deacon or an evangelist or a pastor. Oh, you yes. are an adulterous liar and a hypocrite and you're not a preacher That's right. sent by God, but you are a preacher of the devil. Of the devil. Did you get me? That's right. The husband of one wife. How many? One wife. No, a divorced wife. One wife. No, he divorced her. One wife. Amen. You're a preacher? A preacher. And you believe you can divorce? Mm. Use a false prophet and you ought to go to hell. That's right. Leave it to me, I'll put you there next year. <laughs> Being that I can't put you there, but I can <laughs> preach about it. Amen. This is sad, folk. Yes, it because is. people is following this stuff. That's right. Some of us were victims of this stuff. Oh, yeah. Thank God, but the Lord brought us out of it. Oh, yeah. What did he say? The husband of one wife. One wife. Having faithful children. Having faithful not children. Not accused of riot or unruly. Now look under your roof. Your children should not be heard from inside, outside. That's right. Faithful Amen. children. Your children don't want to follow your rules, then tell them to get out. That's right. Amen. 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 Faithful children. There's a law here. That's right. The law of God spoke here. Faithful children. Not accused of My children right don't want to do what I say. Get out. Get out. Get your own roof. Pay your own bill. That's right. Buy your own milk. Right. Eat your food at your own refrigerator. Use your own toilet. Amen. And your own paper too. That's right. <laughs> Having faithful children. Not accused of riot or unruly. This is what God said. That's what God said. This is God's order. That's right. 